Hey, what's good, YouTube? Back in here with another video. Ask me anything, number four. Uh, maybe I should come up with like another title, like Ask the Brown Gent or I don't know, Talks with the Brown Gent. You know, post in the comments below if you got like an idea of whatever I should brand this. So it's kind of like feels a little less like generic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and today, like, I also wanted to talk to you guys a bit about the market and also about some of the activities we've been doing, whether it's farming like ZK Sync, Layer Zero, and also obviously whatever you guys want to talk about. So we'll get into that. I'm also going to talk tell you a bit about my experience here in Zurich, which is like the German part of Switzerland or a little more German than anywhere else. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So we'll talk about that soon. All right. Now, if you want, if you're like, hey, I like these AMAs, but it's not enough. I need more coaching. I need more guidance. I need more support. Well, we've got a private group. So consider checking that out if you're interested, all right? Now, before we get into the crypto, uh, what I will say is, so I'm here for work. And I think you guys know I was in Stockholm last week for a Congress. And uh, my company is like next to this gym. So like the bottom floor is like this gym. I asked people on the team, hey, what do you think of this gym? Is it good? Like, I don't really like hotel gyms. The one here is okay. It's kind of like got a cable machine and everything. But, you know, I want like Stairmaster. I want a bench press. I want to be able to squat or deadlift. You know, like those like big compound movements. You're not wasting time sitting there doing like the basic random machines you do in the first year. Well, I went there. And like, just so you guys know, I finally can bench 225 pounds. I can do like five reps now. I'll probably struggle on the fifth rep. Um, so it's not super clean. So I, like, hey, I, back in Canada, I'm super proud. I'm like, yeah, it's great. Over here, I was like the weakest person there. Like I went to this gym. It is not a like boutique gym by any means. Like I've been to those gyms where you have a bunch of meatheads. This was not that. These people are massive. They're tall. They're muscular. They're ripped. I'm sitting here. I'm benching 225 and I'm embarrassed for myself. I'm embarrassed because like, I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to anyone else, but wow. Like, I would think I'm in the top 20% in most gyms in Canada. I've got to be the bottom 10% here. Like, not even close. Like, yeah, my, my body fat percentage is around 20, 23% right now. It's gotten much higher, which why we're doing the crypto fitness thing. But, like, honestly, uh, you know, going in there and just seeing a bunch of, like, ripped people, I'm like, wow, these people are taking this stuff seriously. And I thought that the gym culture here in Europe was not – that big because you know stockholm didn't really have much denmark was eh, whatever um but yeah i, I was shocked I, and i'm gonna go back because it's motivating like like i wanted to give up uh, on some of my sets today i'm like no these people are watching i'm already like you know they're already warming up with the weight that i use i cannot embarrass myself any further so uh, that's sort of my experience here in zurich but you know let's talk about crypto and also we'll, we'll sort of see uh you know what everyone else wants um we have Snapper Turtle here. Thanks again for the alpha. Top 15 in layer zero just to boost volume and contracts. Wallet age, exactly. So, guys, remember, you got to control what you can control. There's certain things you can't. You got to sort of just move forward and go, hey, I know what to do. And also, like, um, I love to see that most people are doing this stuff now. Like, obviously, like, you know, I, I've gotten comments before on, you know, I'll give you an example. I talked about Parcel yesterday, and someone said, hey, like, you know, respectfully, you know, they didn't think I was doing it to referral farm, which I'm not. Because if you think I am, just don't use my referral link because, you know, you don't have to. Um, for Parcel, it's, like, you know, good to do somebody's referral link so you get the bonus. Um, but I still think it's a very good opportunity. Yes, the opportunity gets worse. Over time, it gets worse as people dilute. Um, and just so you know, uh, Gene, I am from Toronto. Um, you know, not the best place in Canada. Vancouver's the best. Uh, it's probably the best place, second best place to live in the world. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Brooklyn, how are you doing? Um, you know, good, you know, good to see you. Snapper saying transactions will be far greater as Dune does not track DFK. Yeah. So this is where I get confused, Snapper. So like, you know, as you know, like I'm good friends with uh, Christian Peter from DFK. They got the item bridge and all that stuff. They keep telling me layer zero gets used in it. I've not seen any of this. I would love for that stuff to be accounted. Um, but we don't know what we don't know. And remember, we're kind of shooting in the dark with this stuff, right? Like, we won't know until uh, until the, the lights turn off. Or, the, sorry, the light, lights turn on, right? Like, the lights turn on, we got to leave the club, and then you find out, like, how hot is the girl you're leaving? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's, that's the reality of it. Like, so we're going to find out because we don't know. And hopefully, uh, you know, we, we picked well. 
hopefully we, we did the right things. Um, I don't know, buddy. How's it going? How are you doing? Uh, Art says, uh, thanks, uh, dropping by to say hello, love the channel. Oh, you know, dude, like hearing that is, you know, um, sort of why I do what I do and sort of why I prioritize. I got a ton of people asking me, how do I keep on top of things? Like, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It is hard to keep staying on top of it. I think part of it as well is prioritizing. And I think, um, you know, there's, you will never be an expert on everything in crypto. Uh, and you don't have to be. You know, one of the things I learned when I was younger is um, from doctors, right? There's a reason doctors specialize. Medicine is just expanding at an ever-growing rate. You will never be able to keep up to date on anything, even in like very like niche topics. Like if you're doing like, you know, I don't know, hematology or something or like oncology, even there, like, like you can't keep up. If you did this 24-7, you still couldn't keep up, which is why doctors are very highly specialized, right? Like, it's about prioritizing what's important. You just can't. Like, there's just too many people out there. There's too much rapid technology increase. you got to sort of pick your battles. And I think the same thing goes with crypto. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm part of your everyday routine. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see people are very active in the space right now. I'm having trouble starting Linea Voyage. Uh, Brooklyn, maybe you can sort of describe what challenges are you having. Like, um, like, I hate that, the, you know, like, I hate that they called it Linea Voyage in their Discord, but then it's Linea Park in the thing. Because Linea Voyage is also, like, the Interact campaign, which has ended. Um, but yeah. Oh, thanks for saying welcome back. Uh, you know, I'm not back, but yeah. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back in uh, three days uh, before you know it. They have higher quality food standards. Yes, they do. You think that's what it is? That, that, would, be, that would be very interesting. I'm going to tell my team tomorrow that... Uh, you know, they want to do like a special dinner for me at, at city center. Now nah, we ain't doing that. I'm going to the gym. I'm like, I, I need this motivation. And honestly, like it has the next time I come back here, I am literally going to be like, look guys, like I am not the bottom 10% anymore. Like, you know what? Like, like I gotta get to benching three plates or something, you know, like, I, I gotta get stronger. Um, are, am I cybling multiple projects? Um, I am, but not to the extent other people are. I got, I got a few wallets. I don't have hundreds of wallets. Like, like I'm focusing on one cool wallet, and you know, maybe we'll talk about that in a second. Um, actually, you know, we'll talk about it right now. So, some people take it to a lot of extremes, right? You can definitely like, um, you know, work on wallets and sort of, you know, build up your volume. What I would say is, some people either go from one extreme where, like, hey, I'm not touching this, to, oh my god, I'm doing everything. And I think the balance is in between. Number one thing I would tell you guys is, at a minimum farm like even if okay so first thing i'll address most people will tell you hey um if you ask them oh i think uh i think the snapshot's been taken it's too late i can't get into it blah 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 whatever all right great if you think that just do one transaction a month okay after you've gotten to a point where you've broken the top five like and like let's say you're one of those people who has like you know uh your wallet age is not very long um your number of months of transaction or transacting it's not that long, so let, let's say you look at earn three. In this case, um, I got seven months, right, according to this for uh, ZK Sync. If I had one and I'm already, like, you know, at the top, the top 5%, I'm not going to sit there and grind because I will wait uh, a little longer and sort of spread it out because then like, you want to de-risk. Like, you don't want to keep paying extra gas fees because we don't know what we don't know. And I'm not saying a snapshot has been taken, but we don't know. Now, if you're having multiple wallets, Focus on having one main wallet, which you're going to crush. The one wallet has to be hit out of the park. So this is the one that you do everything on. The other ones, do a minimum of one transaction a month in these protocols you're farming, and then go and sort of wrap those up with all the things as you see sort of what's been working for you on the main account. That's kind of what I would do. Um, your mom's from Simcoe. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Uh, Gene, does that mean you're Canadian too or no? Or like do you live in the U.S. and mom just moved over uh, to the U.S. or something? How uh, Cleve asks, how would you suggest sending crypto to another wallet without being a cycle? Yeah, so that's exactly what you're going to do. you got to send it to a, a centralized exchange and then out to another wallet. Um, or you can potentially get somebody who is one of your friends to send you money from their wallet. Um especially if you know they're not doing anything with crypto or like they're just holding or whatever, that's another opportunity. So one of the things I do in Canada, so um, I got flagged by one of the centralized exchanges for buying too much crypto. I think they think I'm trying to like do something shady. I don't, I have no idea, right? Like these, this is what all these, it's weird. 
if I'm a centralized exchange and I'm I'm charging people like you know through like you know an arm and a leg for uh, in fees, the last thing I'm going to do is be like, hey, I, I think you're buying too much crypto. Like like I, I just don't understand that business model. But they send me some emails saying, hey, we we got to restrict how much you can buy. You you uh you you're like. I think it's like a few percentage away from like my cap that I'm allowed to uh, for the year, which is absurd already. And like, like that's like over a hundred K in this one exchange. And I'm like, all right, great. I'll just use another exchange. Right. But I also like to go and meet people at poker rooms. I play poker, um, not professionally, but um, semi kind of, you know, I'm a winning player. And what I'll do is there are people in the poker room who want to sell crypto all the time, and especially if you can find people who are on a downswing they're looking to offload some crypto into some fresh Canadian dollars. Uh, you know, like I'm not saying you get the best rate, but like it's definitely better than exchange and it's definitely better than the market value. And you save some, you save a bit if you're buying in bulk because they're just looking to offload without sort of uh, triggering a taxable event. Um, TJAT says, love your stuff. I always end up with not enough ETH in 20 pieces. Formal on terrible. Yeah, exactly. So that, 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 that is, uh, that's the right move. I, uh, you know, I think Ontario is way too, uh, I don't want to say progressive, but just weird. Like a lot of the policies and everything are very weird here, and like they're not focused on, you know, safety anymore. They're focused on like making sure like certain people feel great, and it's just like, well, I'm okay doing that. Like I'm all about respecting people, but hey, my number one thing is you got to keep me and my family safe. And if you're not going to do that, like, like why am I paying tax dollars? Why am I even here? Right. Um, but you're right. There's never enough ETH. That, 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 that's just going to be a commonality. And we're going to see it more. So just wait. Like one, once the bull run is really like fully fledged, you're going to see like how hard it is to kind of split up your ETH. There's going to be a ton of protocols. I can literally just getting started, guys. Um, I think the least obvious slash still big funding type of airdrops will be the most full. Correct. So Simone, I completely agree with you. Um, I am farming all of those. Scroll, Polyhedra, Linea, um, Orbit of Finance. We, we, we've got a bunch, right? Um, so in, in, the, in the private group, we actually have channels for each of these things. So Layer Zero and ZK Sync are supposed to be like dollar for dollar, the most important ones. Um, but it's not to say these others aren't important too, but you just have more of a runway. And what I tell everyone is great. Focus on this, but also do the others as well, but make sure you're prioritizing getting a big score on this. And the one thing I will say to people as well is remember, like I love to see the fact that everyone is like taking this seriously. At a certain point, there's diminishing returns. Do you really need to go from 5% to 1% um, or whatever on your on your wallet? Probably not. Like, yes, you can do it. But especially if your wallet age is not in the right zone, like if you're like one month, well, I, I tell people, take a breather. Like, hey, that's great. You've done fantastic. Let's now go and focus on, you know, another protocol like Scroll, Polyhedra, whatever, right? Do, do those things and that'll really help you sort of build out your account and have that nice wallet. And just as a reminder, a lot of these protocols are looking at deposit, uh, sorry, like Ethereum mainnet transactions and how much ETH you either have on the chain you're working on or on uh, ETH mainnet. So just don't forget that. I know a lot of people are taking a lot of these like trackers very seriously. The trackers help us, they're not an exact map, but they help us notice, they help us with a trend. So by seeing the trend, you can see which way you need to go. Before I get into some of these other things, and by the way, like, you know, just to wrap up what um, Simone is saying, um, Linnea, Layer Zero and ZK Sync may be an exception though, yeah. 100% like like we we don't know what we don't know but uh we'll we'll sort of see how how things go but i think it's very important and i hope the evolution of how you guys um target the protocols you're working on is something like metis and data ownership protocol peanuts right i, I was talking to the data ownership protocol team a few days ago in the telegram and remember like i said you can't take anyone's word uh beyond a grain of salt they they mentioned like a huge private sale they're having which means that there's a bunch of vcs who are going to dump on retail and they were giving one percent of their tokens to the community who did the test net so that should put in perspective and something like zk sync something like scroll something like layer zero you know chroma linea whatever um yes they're farmed but there's going to be a way bigger payoff and it's 
longevity too. So just something to think about. I think it's very important um, and just focus on prioritizing those. Those are like your home runs where like your degen base or like, you know, the small airdrops you get, these are all like, you know, base hits, right? Nice to get $10, $20, $100. Show me the thousands of dollars. That's what we want. So before we before we get into the next parts of the uh, comments, I just want to quickly cover some stuff over here. So, guys, I, I talked to you yesterday as well about why you should not be shorting the market. And Bitcoin, um, not, not want to say they heard, but it can it's continued to rally, right? So it's up nine percent over the course of the week. Earlier today, it was up five percent. I did sell a tiny bit of my Mara stock because Mara went to thirty two dollars. So I sold, uh, you know, a few percentage. Like, less than 10% of my shares um, take profit off the table. That allows me to buy those shares back if, if Bitcoin re re retraces. 58K is definitely the zone for Bitcoin. Um, I wish I could bring up the chart, but my trading view is not working on this laptop. I have no idea why. Um, but what happened here with, with Bitcoin is 58K is where we expect to see a significant resistance level. And then beyond that, it's the all time high, right? Like we're gonna get to like, you know, 69 or 68K or something. So. Very, very excited. Um, you know, glad you guys are here for the journey. Remember, like the airdrops of what we do to sort of buy the time and build our bags while we watch crypto hit all time highs. So, like you are you are making money and you're building your wealth in this ecosystem by you know, sort of and that's you know, sort of what I love about crypto is like this is why like I love crypto more than stocks. When you buy a stock of Tesla, when you buy a stock of NVIDIA or whatever, you can't do anything with it. You just sit there and stare at it and go, okay, well, tomorrow I'm going to see the market to go up. Tomorrow I'm going to see them. Literally, I'm just airdrop, you know, I'm doing all the airdrop stuff and doing whatever, you know, you know, interacting with the community, flipping NFTs. And then, oh, wow, Bitcoin's up 5%. Oh, wow, Ethereum's up 20%. Like that it just keeps happening. Those are the things that make it exciting because we're not sitting there constantly just watching the chart, like a, you know, like paint dry. So very nice. I still don't think we're anywhere close to seeing a sort of significant correction. We may get a correction, right, at 58K, down like 52 or 50, who knows? But remember, our goal here is not to sort of time everything perfectly. Our goal is to capture as much of the move as possible. And while it may be nice to capture a small move down and sort of be able to grab a little more, you just got to be hesitant on do you want to miss a bigger move just to earn a small percentage? Like we know, like definitively, that crypto is going to go up. Not financial advice, but that's sort of the kind of thought here, right? We see a ton of inflows to the Bitcoin ETFs, sort of grayscale. The outflows are being kind of trumped by these inflows. So what's happening here is we're going to expect to see this happen a lot more. And like I said last time, I expect Bitcoin and Ethereum to do very well. I expect the alts to sort of kind of tread water, bleed out a tiny bit because this is where all the money is going to be going in the short term. There will be a period of time where we get back to like heavy altcoin season. So I'm not too crazy on alts right now. I have the ones you know. I have Solana. I got Tia, Dimension, all that. Um, one thing I will say is I did sell my alt layer um, just because I wanted more Ethereum. And I was like, hey, I don't, I don't think all layer is going to do anything in the short period of time. So I have cashed out that airdrop completely. So just wanted to let everyone know it at once. Um, so that's something that's happened. Um, the sort of the last thing I would say about the the markets here is just remember, guys, like be careful. The last thing I want to see from you guys is like you know somebody turns a thousand dollars into twenty thousand dollars and then they get drained. Please, and you know we are going to have um, a video coming soon. Um, depending on how busy I am the next couple of days, I might do it here. Um, it's just basically going to show you guys like the actual progression. And I truly believe you should have your core funds behind a hardware wallet. There's no, there's no reason to risk stuff. And please don't download things. Don't open up weird links. Don't, you know, don't sign something you're not aware of. And, you know, make, make sure you check out wallet guard. I think wallet guard is very important. Having a VPN is very important. Um, these things will protect you. They're not fail safe, but they will help put more barriers in the way to keep, your fund safe. The same thing with a hardware wallet, because a hardware wallet is great, but if you sign the wrong transaction, well, it doesn't matter what happens, right? But without it, I think a hardware wallet is gives you peace of mind. So, the more things you do, the harder it is. The harder it is for you to lose your funds. But remember, like careless mistakes, trying to rush something is how you can get screwed. So just keep that in mind. Okay. 
Um, let's go back here. So Tony's asking, when am I going to use my VIP multipliers? Well, the LXP thing so far being like 15, 20 LXP, kind of like, and eh, whatever about it. I'm going to wait for a big one. I like, it's kind of like survivor auction. I don't know if you ever watched survivor, but like, you know, um, the people who sort of did the worst in the auction were always the ones who were like, Oh, a burger. Let me give all my points for it. And then somebody gets like, you know, a platter with a burger and all these extra things for, for like half the price or like one third the price because everyone started using their tokens early. So m my goal is because nothing has been outstanding. Don't use the VIP multipliers. Let's wait and see. Um, there is a potential maybe week five I'll, 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 re I'll sort of revisit because week six we'll be able to sort of revisit all of the ones you haven't completed. So we'll take a look at there and see what's happening. I don't expect there to be anything um, like, for example, if 25 LXD was the highest, I'll be shocked. I expect it to be way higher. So until then, no, no reason. Um, I are nobody has three. Wow, three thousand Manta token that you're staking on Manta Dab, and now the rewards have gone down. Have already removed. Nice. So, so what are you gonna do about this? Um, so I am aware of the airdrops for Manta. The thing is, there's airdrops for everything, right? Um, I chose to take the funds out of Manta and just put an eigen layer. So, for for me, that was what I did. Um, Simone's speaking the truth. Stake Python instead. Way more lucrative. Completely agree. Uh, Snapper. How do I put this? Um, there are more potent things than creatine that you can take. That will be a lot more effective. But creatine's good. Um, I or nobody, should I lend it somewhere and borrow some token like Pi? So I'm not a fan of borrowing tokens to stake unless, like, you're, like, for example, zero lend may be the place that you can do that. You can actually do that and sort of stake on Mantis still if you'd like to, Mantis Pacific. Or you can stake on, actually, you know what? I would probably stake on ZK Sync and then do it because then you'll you'll get the volume for staking on ZK Sync. Um, one of the things I really like to do, so when I'm borrowing tokens, so here's sort of like the, I know I told you guys don't use leverage, right? A more safer way to use leverage um, is, for example, and by the way, look, I'm not saying to do this, is to go in and let's say you have Ethereum, right? You stake your, you sort of lend your Ethereum out on this protocol and then you borrow some Ethereum against it. So that means you're bullish on it, right? So like, so, so, um, what the hell is? Sorry, I, I, I'm just having a mental fart right now. Borrow it. No, cause you borrow, you're, you're actually going against it. So no, sorry, forget that, forget that. Um, let me think about it. There was a way to do this. That's not the way. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. It's like almost been, it's like 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. here. Um, thoughts on the upcoming Merlin chain? Don't know enough about it. Don't care. It's not really a uh, priority for me uh, until I see something come out of it. Uh, thanks, Simone. Thanks for the input. Yeah, no, I agree with Simone. Uh, Pites is fantastic. I've been talking about it. Watch the video yesterday. If you want the full guide on how to get Pyth, how to stake Pyth, how to vote on governance, and some of the protocols that are offering rewards for it. What's the best way to increase volume? Be real. So like, what would you do if you weren't getting airdrops, AJ? And you were like, okay, I'm just gonna like, like, like if you're playing a game and you're part of the sort of community, um, this is sort of why I say like, the best layer zero farming is when you just use it as part of like your daily like activities, right? So whenever I'm doing a bridge activity uh, with any L2, I just use Orbiter Finance. I'm not here just going, let me send some money from Scroll to ETH, ETH to, um, well, never ETH, but, you know, Scroll to Linnea, Linnea to ZK Sync, ZK Sync to whatever, right? No. Nah. Like, I do that when I actually need to do the transactions. Um, one of the things you can do, so let me give you an example of what's a really good set you can do. Go in, for example, if you're on ZK Sync, because what you don't want to do is when you swap, you pay a swap fee, right? Sometimes it's a small percentage, 0.1%, pay the gas fee too. But if you do a deposit in a protocol like Zero Lend, you can de deposit to Ethereum, right? So like 6,000 US. Deposit it, bang. It charges you like 20 cents for gas after the refund. There's no lockup period. Then I go, okay, great. Now let me borrow against it. Let me get this token. Um, then two days later, let me pay that token back and withdraw the money, then swap that into USDC, put it back in as a lend, you're not gonna be labeled as a cyborg. 
and you get massive amounts of volume that way. That's sort of my uh, CK sync plan. US port, nice, awome. I'm not a lie. Uh, the hotels in Europe are very small and spoiled because North American hotels are very nice. Simone says, I think Manta will do well. I think Psych is Python's better. Yeah. So Python is supporting a ton of protocols. Quid pro quo. Would love to see if Wormhole is going to reward us big time. Uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping, holding out hope for, but we'll see what happens. Um, but no, it, it, it is very, um, like, I think Python is very good. Now, there are some extra activities you have to do. I talked about DGen base yesterday. So be it. That stuff happens. Um, Ash says you need to have different deposit addresses for each wallet. This is from EVM to sex. Yeah, correct. So, like, this is why, like, um, having multiple wallets is very important. There are some people who take it very far. They have, like, they have some web subscriptions that, like, uh, I think what it was, like, every, like, within every, within your browser, even, they make it so, like, every instance is, like, super unique. There's no, like, tracing. I don't think the protocols go that hard. And I also think protocols expect you to have more than one wallet. I just don't think they want to see people have a hundred wallets or 50 wallets. I are nobody. I'm living in Saga. Right now I'm in Saudi and up to you. Wow. So ironically, so I live, I say Toronto people, but I live in Saga as well. Um, Cause you know, <laughs> I mean, Mississauga, like if I talk Mississauga to most people, they'd be like, what, what's that? But yeah, so like Mississauga near Toronto, um, you're in Saudi Arabia. Nice. I was in Dubai, November. That, that place is balling out of control. Um, it's 2.30 a.m. there, really? Oh, what am I saying? Yes, it's plus two hours from where I am. So that makes sense, yes. Uh, do what you're most convicted to do, yeah. Simone with the Simone with the true alpha. Always the best move to do is what you feel most comfortable with. I have wallet one and two. I use sex one and sex two for both. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. In fact, you can use the same sex because, like, the reality is they have different uh, withdrawal, withdrawal wallets. You just got to time it a little differently. Also, like... You're not the only one who's getting it from them. So what, they're not going to disqualify people for, for that reason because those wallet addresses are labeled kind of. like They'll know it's Binance or whatever. 30 years BC. Wow. British Columbia, 30 years. Nice. CK, mode, scrolls, or a base. Yeah. My, my mode points have skyrocketed. I got like six figures in mode points. I don't know if that's normal. Um, never. So just so you guys know, when mode first launched, I was the first one to make a YouTube video on it. I know because I looked for YouTube videos on it and there were none. And I'm showing you guys how to withdraw and that was a big mistake. I I hit the withdraw button, didn't want to, but I wanted to show you guys you could do it, confirmed. And then it cost me uh, like 50 bucks to claim my, or to confirm my, my transaction, but I couldn't take it out. It was either to like, just to sort of say, okay, yeah, that, this is me, 50 bucks, a hundred dollars to receive it on Ethereum. I was like, oh my God. So yeah. I uh, kind of wish I didn't do that. Um, I sort of did it as a demo for you guys, but I should have, you know, I should have been like, hey guys, let's just wait for Orbiter Finance or something to come up with something. Because you know they always do. Hey, Gent, how are you um, How are you tracking your crypto for taxes? Um, I'm just looking at sort of pre-amount, post-amount, right? So I treat this like I treat poker. And I know it's confusing. And if you guys watch Molly's game, you kind of have might have some concept behind this. So the government wants you to like, kind of identify capital um, gain events, right? The problem is with crypto, you know, things are up, down, whatever. So you can win money, lose money. Same with poker. I've had sessions of poker where I've lost, I've won thousands of dollars. I've had sessions where I've lost thousands of dollars. So what? I pay the taxes when I win a thousand, but when I lose a thousand, I don't. Then playing poker is not profitable at all because if you are a winning player, you lose 20 to 30% of your sessions. And the goal here is to make more money than you lose, right? But if I get taxed, only when I win, but when I lose, I don't, then like I'm not doing it. And that that's sort of what most poker players do and sort of how they track their taxes. So just have an idea of how much money you've put into crypto. And you'll know because exchanges and hint, hint, nudge, nudge, government has no idea how much you buy under the table. If you want to do, do with that what you will, especially if you have seen what's been going on in the House of Commons. If you've watched what's been going on with the tax dollars, you're gonna be a lot more like conservative with sort of um, what you report. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't report, you didn't hear that from me, because that's what I'm saying, but just, uh, you know, you gotta make it make sense for you. You know what I'm saying? And like my dad actually used to work for the CRA. So I know a lot about how this works. Um, you know, obviously like, you know, you wanna do your fair share, but 
it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fair to you if like you know you you like lot like all the stuff you lost you didn't count it but all the stuff you won you did so like if you know like how much your net deposits were or how much you bought and then how much sort of you exit with that should give you an idea um but there's a funny meme like it shows you like oh like when you do like 400 transactions to make two dollars <laughs> um pie staking has been a joke so far well I wouldn't say it's been a joke because like we haven't seen what zero is. We haven't um the DGen base one is not that great. Um Nabla Finance, like these things all open things up. Wait for the big protocols. Remember, these are all base hits, right? And I mean they they're they're still gonna pay more than, for example, your data ownership protocol, in my opinion. Um and it's free. And also look at how much Pyth is appreciated. Pyth sort of rose to like 70 cents yesterday. Maybe it's even higher now, but pretty good. Cool. And yeah, if wormhole drops them, it'd be insane. Um, so we'll see. Uh, th there was something that got announced around pipe and wormhole. I believe wormhole posted it, and people were like, "Wait a second, are you going to airdrop?" So we'll see. I don't have any Mets on testnet and struggling to claim the NFT. What's the best way to get the Mets token? I'm looking at the bridges and not sure what to do. Um, post on Twitter, um, he, Alex. Go on my Twitter account and post. Uh, that you're looking to do that. Um, somebody did the same thing earlier. I had to send them like 0 0.005. Happy to do that. It's whatever. It's like 50 cents. I don't care. I'll send it to you. So just post your address and say whatever there. And I'm happy to do it. Obviously, you can only do this until uh, I run out because I don't have that much. But yeah, I'm happy to do it and help you guys. Uh, the recent role you can get in the Pipe Discord around the Wormhole Partnership. Yeah, so there was, so I, was I wasn't dreaming. Um, I got the elite NFT with a ton of XP. So Nick, here's what I would say. If you stake Pyth, um, so yeah, so this is not forward looking, right? So this is, I think she's just more addressing the sort of comment that the Pyth uh, staking has been a joke. It's like, for those of us who added our EVM wallet to the profile, um, we have a potential of uh, uh, sort of earning from that, right? So one example, just for you guys to know is, I did post about a hundred different projects that they were getting tokens to and partnering with and stuff. So that's why there's a lot more hype potential around it. But we know we don't know what we don't know. Does it matter which sex I send it to? Um, no, it doesn't matter. Honestly, that that stuff shouldn't matter. I think you're overthinking it. Um, I mean, great question, but like I wouldn't worry about it. If you have if you have access to multiple, then sure, it doesn't hurt. But I would not uh, like if you only have one. Don't 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 worry about it. Maybe just space the timing and change the amount. You're not like, well, I'm going to create ten farm walls, and every wall is going to get five. You know, well, every wall is going to get thirty five point zero one Celestia. You're going to be like, hmm, that's weird, right? If it all happened at the same time. So many Canadians here. So here to the fall. Canadians, my Zank and ZK is pertinent. Sixty thousand that participated. How did you get into the OKX quest? It's banned for me if you're in Canada. Wait, how did you? I, I want to know how you did that. I, I tried doing it, and like I think it's Cryptopedia and all this other stuff. Oh, OKX is banned. At least it is in Ontario. I, I, I don't know. Um, and I even tried using a VPN, it didn't work. I love Aerodross, but I can't wait. Yeah, 100%. Like, we are early. Like, I, I told the story before, but, but my mom was like asking, like, oh, I want some Bitcoin when it was 40,000 US. This is like on the way down. Then it was like 20,000 US. And she's like, oh, no, I don't want it anymore. Bad, bad. I expect a phone call when I get back. Oh, uh, so, yeah, um, how do I get Bitcoin? There's actually a really funny video. I'm going to look for it. It's it, um, Guys, like, I love this video. Um, and I can't wait for them to do an update. Uh, Bitcoin price buy. Joke. I gotta find it. It was so good. It was called the tragic struggle. Oops. It's called the tragic struggle of telling your friends to buy Bitcoin, and it's like one of the best takes on this. If you haven't um, sort of done, watched it yet, I recommend that you do. Like it is so good. This guy nails it. And it's like, you can like really feel it. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I really want to know the OKX. Um, and we will make a ton of money off retail joining for sure. 
TN dimension looking weak right now. Um, it's just a rotation, right? Like Injective just had some big mini airdrops in the dojo swap. The EAP event just finished on Hydro Finance, right? Um, Celestian Dimension have paid dividends so far, right? But it's just sort of like a cycle, right? Like look how many people want to get an ETH. A lot of people are rotating out because they want to get Bitcoin and Ethereum because they're realizing that it's not all season. But remember, this whole thing is in equilibrium. As people like leave, that means our thresholds and our tiers are going to get better for the ones we're in, right? Um, for, for building volume on layer zero, my advice would just be to use the official like Stargate bridge, Aptos bridge. Um, focus on those over Merkley. Like Merkley's nice here and there. Um, but I would send like large amounts because usually it's a sort of fixed fee and stuff. So like, you don't want to like send like $20 and do it. You want to send a couple thousand and do it. And I think, um, I love sushi swap as well. That's one of my favorite protocols. I used to use it a ton. I don't know if the prices have gone up. I know they, they started going up, but I, I built a lot of my volume on sushi swap, you know, going from USDC on avalanche to like Ethereum on, you know, I don't know, on Arbitrum, for example, and doing the whole thing. It was so good. <coughs> Uh, but I was doing this as a real transaction, not like a, oh, let me just do this BS thing because I was getting profits there. I want to buy some more ETH. Um, so Pierre, here's my thing to you. I think Ethereum is going to keep going up. My recommendation to you is just dollar cost average. Just pick a time point. Um, so you want to buy more ETH? Okay, say, okay, every two weeks, I'm just going to buy some ETH. And that way you sort of smooth it out. So what you don't want to do is buy it all top heavy and then it comes retraces a tiny bit. Just sort of split it up over the time period. Or if you can just go, hey, I'm going to close my eyes and not care, not look. Well, do that. And just, you, I, I think you're golden because I think long term, uh, you know, in the next one year, I, I expect ETH to hit 10K, not financial advice, of course. So just sort of something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm trying to quickly check something on the um, pixels, see if they've done anything yet. Anyone can access down again, server up. What? No pet sold out. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep monitoring this, but I got to go soon as well, just because it's late. And um, so, and Jimoto, like, how, did you read his follow up? So um, he posted a, he posted a follow up on CC Dow. Um, CC Dow, I think. Uh, here, CC2 Dow. So, um, I, I think it's important you read this here as well. So basically, like, there's a bunch of beef going on, right? Like, one thing I realize is everybody who does this stuff, there are people who, like, do this for a living. I don't. As you guys know, uh, you know, I'm a full-time job, and I'm, you know, big, you know, healthcare company for marketing and, you know, brand adoption. So that's what I'm busy with, right? Like, I, I, I support you guys, and I want to help, but I, I do this more as a hobby than anything else. Um but there are people who were like, you know, for them, you know, cloud is so important and like making sure people know and it was me who did all of this. So, you know, there were some screenshots kind of shared and, you know, those two people hate each other anyways. Um, he was basically saying, um, you know, he wanted people to, there's there somebody who he hates who was utilizing the strategy. So he basically wanted that information or that volume to not be counted, not people getting banned, right? So, um, you know, Basically, this guy he's saying is going to dump with the token on ten thousand wallets, whatever. Uh, you know, his whole thing is this guy's very egotistical. Listen, um, I I won't say that it was a stupid move, but I also think you know he's not. Um, I don't think he's the the smartest guy for 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 doing what he did. But hey, it is what it is. Like like you know, everyone's different. You know, we we can't we can't expect everyone to act a certain way. He does provide a lot of value to the community. But remember, always I say, take it with a grain of salt what you hear. Um, I still don't fully understand how the market put out so much value on DM dimension. I completely agree. It's hard. It's hard. Um, a lot of air, like, I mean, the same with Jito, right? Like when Jito first came out, like before it like crashed, everyone's like, wow, it's worth a lot. Um, how do I donate to Gitcoin to get the 19.53 points? Uh, that will take you like a few months for it to get recognized. So don't worry about that. Brooklyn, have you done Civic yet? I think Civic's very good. Do the socials if you haven't yet. That's really good. Don't stake. So staking GTC is good, 
But literally March 2nd or March 1st, they reset and gonna do it again. So just wait then, stake the GTC on somebody or yourself and you're good to go. Just do at least five. Um, do I have any plans to look into Athena Labs? I don't know. Uh, you see, you got Terra Luna vibes. Well, is it the the good Terra Luna vibes or the bad ones? Because the bad ones, uh, you know, some people are still like reeling from that. I would not want. I would not want people to uh, have to deal with that if they haven't already. Isn't Cybel all about having multiple wallets? Um, yeah, so that's exactly it. So it's that, but also like here's the thing you got to realize, uh, Ali. It's not just. Um, they don't know you don't have, like, if you have one wallet, they don't know you only have one wallet. So if they look at you and you just do what a robot would do, then they go, oh, well, they're probably hiding it very well, but they're a robot. Do you get what I'm saying? So even though you have one address, if you if you were to go to protocol, and you're like, I'm just going to trade USDT to USDT and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that was the only thing you do. Their algorithm is going to be like, yo, that doesn't, that does not look like a real person. A real person is not coming up here and just doing the same activity over and over again. That's why you've got to be. You know, you got to do what normal person would do, not just somebody who's trying to gamify it. Just keep that in mind. Um, and just to sort of go back on what I or nobody's saying is I will look into it. I've had a bunch of people ask me about it. People post about it all the time. Um, you know, I'm going to probably have more time to do it when I get home on Friday and going forward. So we'll see. Unfortunately, I've only accumulated 8.08 .08 points so far. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you got 19. Oh, you want to get to 25? And so I'm confused. You have 8.08 .08 .08 points versus 19.53. Sorry, what do you mean? Haitian says alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would suggest. So, um, I are nobody. I already have. Just so you guys know, I went to. That was the reason I went to Dubai in November was to get that process started. Just so you guys know. And that's also kind of what my plan is with the tax situation. But yeah. 0% taxes are critical, and the Dubai Marina, chef's kiss. Let's just say that. So far, Pythe getting stopped. Step on the treatment. Yikes. Eat this piece of cake. Only after doing the <laughs> you know for sure. Did you got, did you see the Moody NFT collection is offering? No. I did not know that. Is that what happened? I did not. So I just shared the uh, thing, but I did not. I did not know that. Wow. Let, let me look into that. That's actually very interesting. Uh, t tell the tax man, catch me if you can. And look, isn't that a movie? Uh, the Leonardo DiCaprio movie or whatever. And then the guy eventually got caught. That's interesting. Don't support wars, for sure. Uh, every country is one thing in common. They steal from the people, the fund. Yeah. In fact, in, for the Canadian people, they, they steal from our fund to not even fund our defense. They fund some other country's defense. It was really weird, but you know what I'm talking about participate so here's the thing i so i are nobody i don't want to import my metamask into okx wallet i'm not typing a seed phrase in so if it's not a sort of direct ledger thing i'm just not typing my seed phrase into anything so that's the one thing i gotta look and be very careful on um i would say more eth if you've already got your sort of position in python tia you don't need to be that massive 1500 Pyth is enough 35 to 100 tia is enough eth ETH is literally like what you need. Like if Bitcoin is gold, Ethereum is silver. What are my thoughts on Degen Base? I made a video about it yesterday, Jax. I just deposited 20 bucks in um, DAI token and I'm just gonna claim whatever award or reward I get from the Python in this. Am I gonna do the Mon Mission Zero Land Tasks and Athena Farming? Uh, Zero Land Tasks, yes. Athena Farming and Mon Missions, I have to look into. Um, we'll see. Seems like only one of my transactions per day are showing up on Windsor. Uh, Ignatus, go to the Layer Zero Explorer, type in your wallet address, and see what's happening. It'll tell you like if there was an issue or anything like that. Let me just sorry, just go back. I just gotta check pixels. I don't know what's going on. Do, 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 do. No pets available, Barney. Okay, interesting. Just gotta make sure I see this stuff. Um. Bro, but why would he ask people to do it? Um, because he saw that somebody else was abusing it. I, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not justifying it, right? I was surprised to see this. I was kind of shocked. Um, but like like I said, like these, no one has your best interest at heart. At the end of the day, people will look out for themselves. So like when somebody tells you, oh, this is great, great. That's a data point. 
am I then going to turn around and let them stab me in the back? No, don't do that. So a lot of times when I get this information from people like this, like root for Odo's, when he posted about it, I did it once. I didn't do it like a hundred times like everybody else did. Right. So I'm not going to be flagged as an issue or whatever. But yeah. I also would like to know about some trackers specifically for layer zero. Yes. For layer zero, we now have earn three, I believe that they put it up yesterday for layer zero. Let's see if it loads. Um, earn three dot app slash analysis. That's a good one. Uh, we'll see if it loads. And then I'll also show you like NFT copilot. Okay, great. So layer zero, I'm at 86% here. Uh, 15 months. That, that is weird. That That is 100% not true. Um, then layer zero, you have it on Wenzer. You also have it on NFT copilot. So here you see I'm like top 1.01%. Um, as you see, also some stuff is different. Once you've gotten like 26 destination chain, I'm not doing any more of this stuff. I got to get the volume up, transactions up, but I'm going to do that in March. I'm not touching it yet. Um, getting conflicting info about farming. Guys, like test nets are easy to do a ton of. Make the test nets and all these small ones where you fill in the time. So like the way I'll, the way I'll say this to you, and people who go to the gym, they should be focusing on like three things. My opinion, bench press, squat, deadlift. If you're a little more advanced, you know, pull-ups, uh, shoulder press, one-arm row, or sorry, yeah, like overhead row. Everything else, you going in there doing bicep curls, you going in there and doing flies, you going in there and doing all these small little activities, they won't add the same amount of muscle. They won't build that strength. So the way I look at this is the layer zero, the scrolls, the ZK sinks, these are your compound movements. This is the big stuff. All the test nets and all these pity campaigns, they are like the, if you were gonna go there and just do like sort of like these like weird one arm, like backwards curls or whatever, or doing like the small um, calf raises or whatever, right? They're not big. Like there's tiny complementary exercises that should not be the focus of your workout. They're nice to do, not the main thing. Focus on the big ones. Everything else is kind of a distraction and you should only do once you've done these, right? Like you wouldn't go, you wouldn't go and go do chest day and you're like, Hey, I'm not going to do bench press, but in fact, I'm just going to do some sort of circuit workout. I'm going to touch the sort of the machine bench press, the machine press slightly. Um, I'm going to do some bicep curls some tricep extensions. Like what is that going to do for you? Like that's not really going to grow your chest, right? Growing your chest, get under that bar and, you know, push it out. Um, Nick, kind of, what if I'm a scalp trader? Yeah, so, so that's for perfect. Scalp trader, that does not look fake. What If you were a scalp trader who was just constantly like just going back and forth and going ETH to USDT and doing it every second without caring about the price, that's when the problem is. But if you're sitting there doing trades and everything, that's normal. Any new airdrop updates for TS takers? No, not at all. Injective is having some, uh, if you deposit on Dojo Swap. They had a couple hundred dollar airdrops recently on their launch pad. But beyond that, nothing really. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. Nobody says, yeah, me too. Gold, common gold beta. Nice. And thank you for adding the context because, like, a lot of times, like, wait, what did I say last? Are Drip House NFTs? Well, they're free, right? So just subscribe. Um, you know, you have your Solana wallet and just get it every day. Even when you get to the, I got the second best rarity. It's still not worth anything, but that could change. A lot of airdrop beef in these crypto streets. Yeah, big time. People just care about clout too much and like they value like how well they're seen. Now, am I going to be the best YouTuber for crypto? God, no. For me, I just want people to sort of like the videos, share the videos, comment. Obviously, you know, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I, I just want people to find value. And I think if you add value, people will come. Uh, and people who sort of want to be the only one, the only source, well, they're, they're the ones who have an ego and they tend to get into these issues. Future of uh, dimension. Um, so it's not that. What happens, right, is a lot of tokens are going to have the momentum get cut because Ethereum and Bitcoin are truly what's driving it right now. We're not in all season. We are probably six months away from that, six to 12 months. So I, that's why I earlier, like I made a video like a month ago saying I was rotating out of some of the alts and pumping up my Ethereum and Bitcoin bags because I wanted that more significant um i can't tell you what the future of dimension looks like the first airdrop dimension has happened 
which won't be available apparently, uh, then we'll know if this is good. To just as I agree, uh, yeah, I don't know if it takes a link, not a problem. How to increase interactive contracts for layer zero. What you got to do here is just go to checker.merkley. So go here. Um, so just go here and then type in this wallet address. So this is the wallet address that I share with you guys all the time. I hope they don't ban it because I did this. But when you do this and I hit submit, I now see every single contract. If I just click on this, it'll literally, some of them don't work. But you click on this and you see all the contracts that I haven't done. And just by clicking on it, I can now do it. So just follow that and bang, you're good to go. Hopefully like Merkley doesn't go, hey, we're gonna cut you off for sharing this, but that's probably the best way to do it. 14 contracts, wow, yeah, yeah. So uh, go, going to Merkley, I think, you know, so so there's Merkley for this, but also Merkley for like, you know, um, outside the checker. Um, by the way, um, CC is actually a advisor for them. Just remember that. Uh, so he did push a bunch of people on Merkley. Uh, what? And when you do Merkley, just make sure you go to the layer zero piece. It's, I don't know why this thing's not loading right now. Uh, supercharge, oh, here we go. Supercharge your, so minter.merkley.com, layer zero. You can do the ONFT bridge or the O bridge. You just pick like ZK Sync or whatever. You pick whatever chain here. You do this here as well. And then you hit uh, kind of mint, whatever. So do that bridge. Um, and based on what they've showed in the checker, it looks like, um, you know, you could actually, where is it? Uh, God, what do I do? Based on what they showed, it looked like, you know, you can just do that because like the arbitrary Merkley. So you, as long as the, the sort of source chain can do it for you, so I'll do that. I'm just a thank you, not a problem. Where do I stake my ICP? So I don't have Cardano. I don't have it anymore. I sold out of it months ago. I'm glad I did. ICP, I just have it because um, I, I don't want to use that stupid protocol. I just have it in a centralized exchange on crypto.com. I didn't want to use the other wall. Why won't you fly to Amsterdam and attend the SUI event, the SUI base camp? No, I'm good. Uh, Thursday, so I have a, meet, a big meeting with the team. And even if I didn't, I'm going home. I'm not going to that stuff. One of the best I've seen. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, cool. I find ITB staking very complex. Yeah, I, I haven't touched it yet. Uh, it hasn't been a big deal. Yeah. Is it true that Arbitrum and Optimism don't cap count wrap volume? Um, I don't know. Um. I think once again, like you could go in and check and see like on there, like if that matters, but why would you want to, why would you want to do more transactions on Arbitrum and Optimism? Um, if you're talking about the Injective Sushi, like fighter NFT, it's not that I faded it. I'm just busy, right? Like some people in the, some people in the private group got it and they got the 800 bucks or whatever. But like, like I said, if I spend 16 hours of my time in work meetings, like sometimes I just can't get to everything. There will be things that you know will happen. So it wasn't the most so much I faded it. It was I was not aware. Um, but kudos to those people. Like you know that could have gone either way. And yeah, that is purely gold exactly. So so this is why I like this because and I tell everyone, hey, just use the wallet address I paid for. It will show you the contract. No need to pay for it yourself, and you got whatever you need to do. Cool. What big air? <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you. If, if if I knew that, I would have positioned differently. The way I do this is I set up a bunch of traps. Like if you're a fisherman, right? What you do is you set up a bunch of traps where you think you're going to get the fish. Do I know where the, all the fish are going to come to the, tomorrow? So I just put all the traps there? No. But what you can do is set yourself up for success. This is why I stake Celestia, Dimension. I don't stake Osmo. I, I, I stake Adam. I stake a bit of Injective as well. I stake Matic, which I think is going to be big coming forward. And I also stake Ronin, so Ronin uh, on which is like the pixels backbone. So those are some of the things we do. Uh, obviously, I also stake Ethereum with Eigen Layer, and I stake Pyth with staking a Pyth network. Um, purely for a thing, uh, I think this zk sync snapshot likely June. I think June is probably the wrap up. Maybe they take a snapshot before that. Anyone's guess, right? We have no idea. What are the cheapest chain to create volume from where to where? Uh, I'd probably look somewhere like. Arbitrum Optimism are very cheap. Um, there are some people on Twitter who post about these like 
sequences you can do, like a Hugh Arbitrum and Optimism rebates. I'm not as an expert as this because this was happening while it was gone, so I didn't really get to test it out. But you can look it up on Twitter. But I think if you're just going from one chain to the other, um, something using Arbitrum or Optimism because these are very low gas fee chains. Anyways, guys, it's like 1.20. I should go to bed. Uh, I will do another video likely tomorrow when I'm back from doing leg day. If I don't make the leg day into another chest day. So we'll see what happens. But guys, I hope you found really a lot of value out of this video. I want to keep sort of bringing that. We're about at the hour mark. Let me know in the comments below sort of what topics you want to hear about and also things you want captured. And please don't make it about some random obscure token that no one cares about because I want to like make videos that capture what the need is. I also, as you guys know, in the private group, I have a fundamentals chart and I have like a whole thing of what I'm farming and everything. And I'm going to be making video guides for every one of them to sort of supplement into that document as well. So if you're interested, of course, if you want access to it, it's only for the private group members, but if not, it's all good. I'm going to do as much as I can to support you guys as well, but obviously I have to offer additional value and support to those who support me. So that's what I want to say, guys. I got three more days in uh, Zurich and, uh, you know, definitely sort of want you guys to, um, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, Ace Crypto, before I go, what I will say is, where you can stake Polygon, um, I think what I do, I think I just Googled it. Like, like, uh, but it's on the Ethereum network. It is so easy and so good. Just remember that if you stake, you're gonna pay some hefty fees, especially if you're transferring and bridging it out. So just keep that in mind. Um, thank you, Nick, for the heads up there. Like, for for those of you who have collected those NFTs. They're fantastic. Uh, make sure you do collect the uh, the final ZK list NFTs. That's a great way to sort of interact. It's not ZK Sync official. It's on chain and it's a collaboration partnership with ZK Sync. Um, any light on the paymaster me uh, payment master? Yeah. So for those of you who are wondering, uh, on some ZK Sync protocols, you're able to use the paymaster feature and it's pretty good. So uh, just pick USDC or whatever. I would not go crazy on it just sort of how to put this open up a protocol click on that little gas icon that you see do a transaction on goal three do a transaction on sync swap do a transaction on mute.io try to use it in different places not the same space all the time and i think it's going to help you out and hey should say hey phantom to bdc is good on gas well you guys can check that out that's a beauty about crypto you don't have to accept the transaction go in submit it if it's too expensive check arbitrary optimism you can work it out and figure out what's best for you and by the way, I'd love to see it. Get Rabbi Walt if you haven't already. Like, you will never go back. Like, I use MetaMask as a backup for protocols that don't have access to it. But, man, Rabbi Walt is gas. It's so good. And by the way, thank you, guys. I really appreciate the really nice words, the comments, and everything, guys. I'm here for you. Uh, you know, the number one thing right now is we got to build our bag up. So, hopefully, you're making extra money. You know, you're grinding it hard in real life, getting some extra, you know, funds into crypto. Um, because we want to, as Simone said, we want to get in there before retail goes hard and, you know, crypto is being legitimized, uh, legitimized with all of these ETFs because now your grandmas, like all the people in the world are going to start buying into Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Ethereum, when the ETF gets approved, not, not, it should, um, hopefully not financial advice, but I think doing that now and getting our bags as big as possible is important. Just keep in mind, remember, we're not here to fall in love with a narrative, right? Celestia is great, but I'm the moment Celestia is no longer good, hey, I'm out. The same thing. I'm not here to get married. I'm here to get rich. And the way we make money is by not falling in love with the narratives, but really making sure we're positioned very well. I'm going to start making some videos, guys, and on it. When I do, please don't take offense if you like a token that I'm saying, hey, I'm not buying. That's not saying that it's not a good choice. I'm just going to share my plan, and you know, you guys do what you sort of want to do. But yeah. Uh, and Eric David to pet, I would do karate combat if our people who are representing had sort of done a little better in the fights, you know, uh, you know, no shit on them. You know, I, I'm probably going to jump in the ring the next time karate combat goes up. Cause it's a good motivation for me to really get into tip top shape, which I will do after being here in Zurich, but yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. But guys, thank you so much for watching as always like the video as Haitian was saying, you know, share, share the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.